Hey everyone, I'm Mike Donovan with Pure Edge Lighting and this is Mike's Monthly Minute. You know, the lighting business is changing and in many ways becoming more complicated and more confusing. So this month we wanted to focus on AC versus DC power, 12 volts versus 24 volts, and talk about dimming of LEDs a little bit. Now, let's start off about talking about AC versus DC power. Back in the 1880s, there was a bitter war fought between Nikola Tesla, who invented alternating current, and Thomas Edison, who believed that direct current was the way to go. Now, these two didn't like each other very much, and they fought very hard to make people believe that they were right and the other guy was wrong. You know, it would be really cool if we could talk to these guys today and kind of get their side of the story. Whoa, Tom, Nick, how are you guys? Welcome to Mike's Monthly Minute. I thank you, Michael, for having me on such a prestigious show. But why is he here? And thanks for having me. I'm here because I invented the light bulb for crime's sake. Bulb small, but you will know that that AC electricity that comes into your home, you can all thank me for that. Guys, settle down. We're not here to argue and fight. We're here to talk about the merits and drawbacks of AC versus DC power. All right. Whatever. All right. Listen, let's talk about electricity. Nicholas Tesla, you invented AC power. And since we're mainly talking about LEDs, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I would love to do that. But what is a freaking LED? Well, obviously, it's a lantern for egg depositories. A uh, no. An LED is a light emitting diode. Basically, it's a semiconductor, and it's used in many lighting fixtures today. It's important to know that LEDs only operate on DC low voltage power. Aha! DC, I win. Hold on now, Edison. Yes, DC is how all LEDs operate. However, you got to keep in mind that AC is how all of the power is delivered from the power plant to our homes. So first, we have to convert high voltage to low voltage, and then AC to DC. So let's talk about voltage. Low voltage could mean 12 or 24 volts, whether you're talking about AC or DC. So 12 volt makes sense if you're talking about smaller systems, like a soft strip run less than 25 feet, say for under cabinet lighting. But if we have a larger system, like for cove lighting, we're gonna use 24 volts. 24 volts lets us create soft strip runs up to 40 feet with less voltage drop, and we can still use the same 14 gauge wire. Well, that explains low voltage, but what about converting from AC to DC? Well, you can either do that right on board the fixture, or you can use a remote power supply. But either way, you still have to convert your AC to DC using a rectifier. Rectifier? rectifier? Nearly yeah, killed her! <sighs> Jeez. All right, let's recap. All LEDs require low voltage DC power, but the power is delivered to us as high voltage AC. So what we need to do is reduce the voltage and then convert to DC. Ah, uh, it's pretty good for a salesman, but is that the best way? Well, it actually depends on the application. A vanity bath bar, for example, would simply use a small AC electronic transformer that's gonna fit right inside of your junction box. The fixture would convert to DC using a rectifier right on the LED circuit board. For larger systems like soft strip or light channel, we would use a larger remote located DC power supply. In a remote power supply, voltage is reduced and the power is converted to DC with the rectifier right in the same power supply box. Which way is the most efficient? Well, you know, that's a good question. If you use a remote located power supply where you're gonna convert your high voltage to low voltage and your AC to DC in one box, you get about 25% more light using the same amount of energy. I like efficient design. Well, I like ice cream. But listen, there is no right or wrong way. There's just different systems depending on the type of application you have. Dimming hardware varies depending on the power supplies you use. Some remote power supplies can be dimmed using an electronic low voltage compatible dimmer and sometimes a zero to 10 volt dimmer. Zero to 10 volt systems have a larger capacity and usually have a smoother dimming, but do require some additional wiring. What about a dimming the system with AC transformer, which converts to a DC right in the fixture with a rectifier? Well, if you're using an AC transformer, you can dim on the line voltage side using a standard Lutron ELV Skylark dimmer. Uh, I like it. I think I get it. 
Can you answer one more question for me about the future? Yeah, sure, what? Are the Chicago Cubs still the best team in baseball? Yes. And have they won another World Series? We're going to wait till next year. Listen, everybody. My name is Mike Donovan with Pure Edge Lighting. Thanks for watching Mike's Monthly Minute. If you need to recap any of this, there's a link below that you can print out. It's going to give you a whole recap of what we just talked about. If you have any questions, always feel free to give us a call. So long. Arrivederci, my AC friend. DC's better. Ciao, baby.